I want to begin with an overview of the continuing concerning trends in the data. Yesterday, we in the United States surpassed 30 million cases of COVID-19. CDC's most recent data show that the seven-day average of new cases is slightly less than 60,000 cases per day. This is a 10% increase compared to the prior seven-day period. Hospitalizations have also increased. The most recent seven-day average, about 4,800 admission, 4, admissions per day, is up from 4,600 admissions per day in the prior seven-day period. And deaths, which typically lag behind cases and hospitalizations, have now started to rise, increasing nearly 3% to a seven-day average of approximately 1,000 deaths per day. When I first started at CDC about two months ago, I made a promise to you. I would tell you the truth, even if it was not the news we wanted to hear. Now is one of those times when I have to share the truth and I have to hope and trust you will listen. I'm gonna pause here, I'm gonna lose the script, and I'm gonna reflect on the recurring feeling I have of impending doom. We have so much to look forward to, so much promise and potential of where we are, and so much reason for hope, but right now I'm scared. Um, I know what it's like as a physician to stand in that patient room, gowned, gloved, masked, shielded, and to be the last person to touch someone else's loved one because their loved one couldn't be there. I know what it's like when you're the physician, when you're the healthcare provider, and you're worried that you don't have the resources to take care of the patients in front of you. I know that feeling of nausea when you read the crisis standards of care and you wonder whether there are gonna be enough ventilators to go around and who's gonna make that choice. And I know what it's like to pull up to your hospital every day and see the extra morgue sitting outside. I didn't know at the time when it would, when it would stop. We didn't have the science to tell us. We were just scared. We have come such a long way. Three historic, scientific breakthrough vaccines, and we are rolling them out so very fast. So I'm speaking today not necessarily as your CDC director, or not only as your CDC director, but as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter, to ask you to just please hold on a little while longer. I so badly want to be done. I know you all so badly want to be done. We are just almost there, but not quite yet. And so I'm asking you to just hold on a little longer to get vaccinated when you can so that all of those people that we all love will still be here when this pandemic ends. The trajectory of the pandemic in the United States looks similar to many other countries in Europe, including Germany, Italy, and France, looked like just a few weeks ago. And since that time, those countries have experienced a consistent and worrying spike in cases. We are not powerless. We can change this trajectory of the pandemic, but it will take all of us recommitting to following the public health prevention strategies consistently while we work to get the American public vaccinated. I'm calling on our elected officials, our faith-based communities, our civic leaders, and our other influencers in communities across the nation. And I'm calling on every single one of you to sound the alarm, to carry these messages into your community and your spheres of influence. We do not have the luxury of inaction. For our, the health of our country, we must work together now to prevent a fourth surge. 